Meet Dave. He's 23 and in top health. Like most Americans, when Dave gets sick, he uses lower-cost generic medicines. Today, 90% of all prescriptions in the U.S. are for generic drugs that cost as little as just a few dollars. For Dave, the need for a prescription is an infrequent nuisance. But for his mother, Joni, that need is a regular occurrence with life-changing consequences. Joni is 57 and has heart disease. She fits into a group of patients who need regular access to medicines that are often newer and more expensive. Joni's prescription drug costs are higher than Dave's. Here's why. Working with a pharmacy benefit manager, or PBM, insurance plans negotiate rebates from drug companies in exchange for placing drugs on what's known as a formulary. The insurance formulary determines what drugs are covered and what patients pay. In a formulary, each drug is assigned to a patient cost-sharing tier. The higher the tier for the drug, the higher the cost to the patient. Research shows that the difference between what insurance companies pay for drugs and what they require patients like Joni to pay has increased over time. In the past, a patient's health care costs usually took the form of a reasonable flat dollar copay. But in recent years, the share of patient spending on flat copays has gone down. Meanwhile, insurance plans are imposing greater use of high deductibles, which force patients to pay the full cost of their medicines until they exceed the deductible. Insurers are also employing a greater use of coinsurance, which requires patients to pay a certain percentage of a drug's cost. What does this mean for Joni? Say that Joni needs a medicine with a list price of $500 per month. The drug maker provides her health plan with a 50% rebate, lowering her drug's net price to $250. But Joni doesn't benefit from the lower price. Why? Because her insurer makes her pay the drug's higher list price. So, Joni, who is enrolled in an insurance plan with a $1,000 deductible, will pay $500 at the pharmacy. Her insurance plan pays nothing and receives a $250 rebate from the drug maker. After a couple months, Joni reaches her deductible, but now she has to pay a 50% coinsurance requirement or $250. Her insurance plan also pays $250, but receives another $250 rebate from the drug maker. Just a few months into the year, and Joni's out-of-pocket costs are over $1,000. Meanwhile, her insurance plan has pocketed $750 in rebates, and as insurance plans place more medicines on higher cost-sharing tiers, more patients like Joni will feel the pain of higher out-of-pocket costs. Is this how insurance is supposed to work? When we talk about prescription drug costs, we need to consider all of the factors that determine what patients pay and how changes to the way insurance is designed are shifting a greater share of the burden onto vulnerable patients like Joni. We live in a time in which new medical breakthroughs are helping patients like Joni and her son Dave live long, healthy lives. It is up to all of us to ensure patients have access to the treatments they need with out-of-pocket costs they can afford. <laughs>